Hi, my name's Kay, I'm one of the intensive care doctors and I'm going to talk you through the micro skill of how to use your cannula for troubleshooting during central line insertion. So we spoke about earlier how you normally get two needles, one hollow needle, one with a cannula on it. Now, the best way that I find to use the cannula, um, if you're not using it primarily for um, vessel puncture and insertion, is oftentimes when we come to inserting uh, CVC, we'll find that one, the guide wire is not quite advancing, or we're just not quite happy that actually we managed to get it into the vessel and we're not sure if it's gone through the back or gone into soft tissue. In those situations, to troubleshoot, instead of taking it all out, repuncturing, opening up the set, you can always just take the cannula off the needle that it comes with, advance that, that cannula sheath over the guide wire, and so it should just now be inserting into your vessel. And then at this point, you can withdraw the guide wire. Now James has shown you how to withdraw it into the sheath, but just for speed purposes, we are going to just withdraw it without that. Now you've done that, you'll be left with your cannula in hopefully what's the vessel wall. You can attach a syringe, aspirate. It's still aspirating, so then you are still in the wall. So with that in mind, it's still aspirating. So now with that in mind, you can reinsert your guide wire this time and hope that it was just more an angle or it had come up against a butting the side of the wall or the back of the wall that was causing it not to advance. And it wasn't that you were into the soft tissues or punctured the wall. Alternatively, you can use this method as well. If sometimes you feel like you've kinked your guide wire, in that sense, rescue your um, entry into the vessel with the, ca with the cannula um, sheath and then ask for another guide wire and just go again. There's no need to repuncture.